Welcome back to Bathurst Diecast Racing. We have threatening skies. We have thunder. The weatherman says there's probably going to be weather. Look at that in the distance. Wow. I have a feeling that we are going to get wet. But until then, the racing will continue. Mount Panorama. It's a little bit dark out there. We're here for qualifying number 29 and number 30. But first up... For qualifying 29 are these absolutely gorgeous beasts. I'm joined by Harry. Say hi, Harry. Hello, everybody. All right, we are ready to go. Let's hope these guys have their surfboards. Wow. We're going to need it. They are. So first we've got 62 Chevy Custom, 43 grams. Driver is seaweed. Yes, that's uh, absolutely beautiful. Slammed on its guts. And then we have another 62. They're all 62s. It's 42 grams. He's called Landlubber. Why? Because his surfboard's missing. Uh-oh. Well, we got a surfboard. 62 grams, Chevy Custom, same thing. 41 grams, 29. A uh, driver, what am I saying? Driver, Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, Harry. And then we got white caps. She's blue and white, and it is absolutely gorgeous. These guys are all ready to go. Let's check out the conditions. 23 degrees Celsius and 40, 74. 74 Fahrenheit. Wow. So while uh, Harry's trying to remove his foot from his mouth, <laughs> let's get up to the top of the mountain and see who's going to win. Ooh. The revs are rising and away they go. Looks like a pretty even start. Got Sandman in front in pole position. He's uh, leading the way. Looks like Whitecaps has just nicked in front of Seaweed. Seaweed in third. And Landlubber coming in last. Oh, Landlubber oh, trying no. to make a move on Seaweed. Does he? Doesn't get oh. it done. Seaweed through. What an absolutely beautiful, clean race. These vehicles were very, very tight. Wow. That was absolutely gorgeous. These are, are very, very well matched cars. Can't wait to see the lap times for this one. Yeah, they should, they should be all right. I don't think it was lightning, but, um, yeah, there's, uh... I think they went... That was Landlubber, sorry, trying to get up the inside of Seaweed. I think they were trying to run really fast from the lightning. Cause... Yes, <laughs> and Spyro <laughs> makes it across the line. Sandman. So Sandman, 909, <laughs> Landlubber, 913, Seaweed, 920, and Whitecaps, 925. Yeah, we'll get the range right in a minute. So it's Sandman with five, Landlubber with four, Seaweed three... Whitecaps 2. Here we go for race 2. Seaweed in pole position. Sandman on the outside. Oh, looks oh. like... Whitecaps. Absolutely made a beautiful move up the inside of Seaweed. And then Sandman's taken second. Seaweed getting shoveling back. Maybe he smoked too much oh, seaweed before he started. Over, someone's going to overtake Seaweed here. It's uh, got to be Landlubber trying to get through but it, oh he may have got him there oh wow. <laughs> that was tight ladies and gentlemen well seaweed will be salty about that one wouldn't he oh. <laughs> yes yes he will very good harry that was an absolutely gorgeous move up the inside just spectacular gives him a little nudge and then sandman on the outside getting his ears boxed left right and center and this move, look at that little turn just behind, oh, just spectacular. Once again, I don't know how they do it with no steering wheels and stuff, but uh, <laughs> these I, th think, I think they let the track drive them. Look at that, there's a spirit in these cars. It is self-evident. So Whitecaps, 824, Sandman 910, Landlubber 921, and Seaweed with the 922. That's a very respectable time. So it's nine for Sandman, and all the other three are all sitting on seven. It's still anybody's race. Three-way tie. I think that's Whitecaps in pole position. It looks like it. Seaweed on the outside. Very nice and even. It's nice and clean racing. Oh. oh, a little touch there by Seaweed. He's getting a bit upset. He's held up Sandman. Sandman going slow. Yeah, well, he just rammed in the back of Seaweed. Brake testing. Got sand between his brakes. <laughs> I mean, brake checking, I think. 
Yeah, that's all right. You can say both of those. Just nice and clean, but they're all oh, big slide. Oh, no. Commentator's curse there again. Oh, a bit oh. of a smash there, and... Yep. Right at the end. Oh, big spin there. Big slide there by Whitecaps, it was. What happened at the top when he break checked? Was that on purpose, or was that...? He lost it sideways. Oh. If Lewis Hamilton was driving that car, man, he would be, anno <laughs> he would be so annoyed with that. Oh, uh, he'd be too busy doing his hair. <laughs> <laughs> But Sandman does give him the big T-bone stake right in the side. Oh. Gives him the nudge, continues on, but slows down his own race. You'll feel that in the morning. He will. Look at that sideways oh. there by Seaweed and overcooks it. Gets a big tank slapper going. And then becomes a rolling roadblock. Sandman hits him and then that's Again. just enough. Again. <laughs> I think, yeah. Then Seaweed... Yeah, no, he hits Seaweed coming, once, coming hits Seaweed twice. And, and then, now, everybody get in your bunkers! There looks like a couple of drops of rain there behind. It looks like some drops of rain. Ooh! This might be the beginning. Might be the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, of the wet races. So, Whitecaps, A26, Land Lover, 853, and Sandman and Seaweed, DNFs. No line cross. So, it's 12 for Whitecaps, 11 for Land Lover, 10 for Sandman, and 9 for Seaweed. Still. Anyone's race, but Seaweed's going to have to pick up the pace. He's got the worst possible spot. He does. Oh, maybe not the worst. Does he do it? Whitecaps has taken away. He's oh. got up. Oh, he's gained a position there. Well wow. done. Wow. He's pushed Landlubber out the way. Seaweed trying to catch up to Sandman. But Whitecaps is uh, showing a clean set of heels. I think we need Spider-Man because the Sandman's oh. going to go crazy. <laughs> but it oh. is. Oh, nice. nice. Oh. oh, that was very tight. Wow. That was very cool. These guys are, are really uh, bringing, bringing the style and class to Mount Panorama. They're doing such a nice job. Yeah, there that is definitely water there, Larry. It is. Sandman makes the move on Landlubber. Oh. And completely blocks him, but the move is done. That's how Seaweed got across. Yep, Look at that. Yep, side by Land, side. Land Lubber backing off, going, all right, you can have the position, otherwise we're all going to get stuck in Forest Elbow, yeah. which has happened before. <laughs> oh, that was very close from Whitecaps. But everybody getting a little slippery. Hits the curb. Slick tyres on a slightly damp track. Track's not going to help him out too much. But um, it's a nice little slide there, and across the line he goes. But there's another nice little slide here as well. Look at that wow. there by Sandman. That's gorgeous. And uh, Seaweed tries to <laughs> emulate, but does the spin, and who gets it? It's Seaweed. Seaweed in for third. Well, Whitecaps with 903, Sandman 923, Seaweed 938, and Landlubber 939. That was all pretty close, but it is Whitecaps. Congratulations. 17 points will be going on to the next round. Well done. 62 Chev custom at 42 grams. Moving on to the next round of semi-finals. Congratulations. Yeah, that was fabulous. So congratulations to the Lords Racing League, Oscars Fair Racing, Chris Hood, William Can, Kern, Golfer Dude, the Essex Boys, and Rob Clinton. Rob Clinton. Well, if there's any more, if there's wet races, let's hope... They go in for pit stops. Actually, there's no pit stops. But <laughs> no, let, they're stuck on the same like set of tyres they get from the start. Let's hope they're not like Lando Norris in what? first position and then spinning out because of the... Wet conditions. Wet, yeah, wet yeah, conditions. Yeah, well, that'll make it more exciting here. So we got the, the Chev, in, uh, Chev Bel Airs for qualifying 30. These are... Uh, uh, Absolute perfect example of American muscle and classic cars. Chef Hun Day. So you know, we know him. He's Spotto in the 55 Chevy, 29 grams. Yeah, they're just, uh, I can't say enough about all these cars. They're absolutely gorgeous. We've got another 55. Black and blue is Mr. Brews, 33 grams. Those wheels are just spectacular. Yes, they certainly are. We've got another 55 Chevy, 33 grams. Driver's Bert Burgundy. Yes, uh, and there's someone put in the comments, stay classy, Mount Panorama. <laughs> and 
And then we've got Pinky Finger, the only 57 Chev, 35 grams. He's uh, outnumbered three to one, so we'll have to wait and see what happens in the race. I guess he is the smallest. Well, I think it's just uh, you're suffering from parallax error. But then here we go for the track conditions. Ooh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit and 22 degrees Celsius. I think it's dropped one degree. But... Yes, that generally does that before rain starts to come, but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens during the race. Let's hope for rain, but let's also not hope for rain. The revs are rising and away they go. No, oh. I want it to pour down. <laughs> oh no, pinky finger. Uh, he stuck his finger in the wrong place there and he's getting jammed up by Mr. Bruise. Mr. Bruise has bruised pinky's finger. Finger but down, he's finger down. <laughs> he's taken on the outside, but Spotto's taken off with Stay Classy. Oh, a little bit of sideways there. They sound Spotto awesome, those first. cars. Bert trying to catch up. Oh, Pinky Finger trying to make a move on Bruise. Mr. Mr. Bruise. Mr. Bruise. Oh, it's a big slide. Oh. There is a few more drops there, ladies and gentlemen. And it's Spotto across the line. Bert Burgundy. Whoa. Oh. And Pinky wanted to straighten up for the photo. I think that water is getting the best of everyone. The water's, get, water's getting wetter. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think physics works like that Larry well that's probably true but um, as we go down here we see Bert Burgundy trying to make a move Pinky's just right on the table oh. oh. yes what we, happened we, there well we get some expansion and contraction on the track and that just uh, sent the rear end of bruiser flying but he's right in the side did not like the pink finger getting on the inside of him and decides to escort him pretty much all the way through Skyline and through to the top of the yeses. Gives him the big spin around there. The sad part is that they had the inside lane and they wasted it. They did, but um, Mr. Bruce says, thank you very much, I'll take my position back. I, I suppose it's just desserts, I guess. We need to get an escort for Pinky Finger at the top of the mountain. But he still, he still went down. Yeah, he made it all the way. Need to make it. And Spotto with the big spin just before the line, just to uh, give a wave to Bert Burgundy. And he crosses the line. And we've got to actually yeah, check out here to see what's happening here. Knight, pinky finger with a very nice spin around. And he crosses the line as well. So well, the results for lap times. Spotto 9.22, Bert B 9.28, Mr. Bruised. 10.45 and someone with 11 or something. Yes. Pinky finger with 11. Yes. So it's 5, 4, 3, 2 as they cross the line. And there's the second lot of thunder. It's all coming. Oh, it is all no. going to come. The way they go again, the revs rising. Pinky fingers on... Oh, he's, he's wasting that pole and Burt Burgundy makes an absolutely gorgeous move. Round the outside, Spotto gets caught up with Pinky oh, Finger. Close. Wow, how tight is this racing? Barely a half a second will cover all these guys. And as they oh. cross the line. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if it does it do, if it does get rainy, I'm gonna tell them. Oh, there's some splotches. Yep, a little I'm bit of thunder there as well. Oh no, I need to bring the cameras in. <laughs> Dad, get the cameras in! <laughs> No, we'll uh, we'll put some um, glad wrap over the top of those. Never mind, just put glad wrap on. <laughs> I think she got the message. And that move from Burt Burgundy around the outside was just stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that, Pinky Finger and Spotto on both different lanes, three wide. And then big oh, sideways through drifts. here. Look at that, such a tight group. It is, getting dark out. Around. it is getting dark out there. The camera's having difficulty picking up the action. It's getting a bit blurry. Might be time to grab the glasses, but it's Burt Burgundy across mm. the line. So, Burt Burgundy, 913, Mr. Bruised, 918, Spotter, Spotter 920, Pink Finger, Pink Finger with 928. So, it's Burt Burgundy on 9, Spotter on 8, Mr. Bruised on 7, Pink Fingers, got his finger cut in the door, and here it is. Oh. The rain is coming. Oh, and it's caused the 
first one. Oh no! Mr. Bruised has gone and got himself bruised sitting on his roof. Oh no, this is not good. The pinkies uh, actually show up, might enjoy these wet conditions. Oh. oh! Slide by Burt Burgundy. Oh! Wow. I think he just got Spotto across the line there. But um, yeah, as soon as that rain started coming down, Mr. Bruised said, um. Thank you. I, I don't think I'm I kinda... I don't think I know what to do here. What does he do? Oh. He gets up oh. on two wheels and rolls over. We need like those little umbrellas that you put in drinks and just put them on top of the cameras. <laughs> then it'd be a party oh. for everyone with the party umbrellas. But Mr. Bruised had it. And then uh, Bert Burgundy tried to make the move up the inside of Pinky Finger but couldn't get it done. And just lovely and sideways through there. Just can oh up on two wheels for Spotto. Pinky Fingers oh, seems to a, have a handle on these conditions. There's a drop on the camera lens there. Yep, we and look see. at that sideways from Bert Burgundy all the way through to Forest Selbo. But it's Pinky Finger across the line. That's going to help him certainly with the points. So Pinky Finger 908, Burt Burgundy 939, Spotto 940, and Mr. Bruce, no line cross. No, unfortunately. And uh, we got Burt Burgundy on 13, Spotto on 11. Pinky Fingers rushed up with 9, Mr. Bruised with the 0. Keeps Here him on we seven. go. It looks like it's absolutely pouring down it's now. It's the full conditions, it looks like. Oh, we can't even see anything. Oh, big. <laughs> Bert Burgundy's just uh, snuck out in the lead from the outside lane, which is... Oh, no, he's rolled it! Oh. And he's got back oh. on his wheels! And he's... <laughs> it's... Oh, my gosh, two wide in the front and the back. And he's still sliding. Oh. He could not handle those conditions. The other cars just uh, carried him three quarters of the way down Con uh, through Conrod. Wow. But it's Pinky Finger. Oh, wow. Mr. Bruce. He really turned it on in the wet conditions. Wow. But that was an absolute tragedy there for Burt Burgundy, who was out in the lead. This is the first wet race that we've ever done. Certainly was. It was crazy. But Pinky, see... Look at Pinky Finger trying to make the move. It looks like Spotto's getting oh. sideways. Pinky couldn't do it. Tried the inside lane. Look at, <clears> look <throat> at Burt Burgundy. Yeah, the action's just Boom. happening everywhere. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's up. Spotto's Weird. trying up the inside. Does he get him? How did Pinky Finger even get in the first place? From first to last. From oh, last we'll, to first. Well, we'll find it. This is from the rollover from... Bert. From Bert. Oh, wow. Look at that rain. He rolls it there Boring. onto his roof. Back over. And Pinky just helps him along. Does he get back on his wheels? It kind of looked like he did, but it was... Yeah, he did. He went oh, on... Oh, so oh. close. He's just sliding sideways. It just needs a little tip. But a Pinky little says... Tip over. <laughs> Pinky's going, nah. Wow. Well, maybe he might get tipped over. No. Look at how tight that this was group so, is. That is so close until they all stopped each other. And Pinky says... I've seen a gap here. I'm going through. Spotto spotted it as well. Mr. Bruised getting bruised by shoving Bert Burgundy out of the way. Yeah. Oh, no. This is absolute madness. And there it is. It's Pinky Finger across the line. Wow. That was uh, full of action, that one. So Pinky Finger with 10.28, Spotto 9.47, Mr. Bruised 11.04. Oh, 10.47. <laughs> So it's Spotto by one over Pinky Finger. He really accelerated and, and performed in those wet races. So the yellow 55 Chev is moving on. The next round, semi-finals. That was absolutely spectacular. So congratulations to Golfer Dude and Rob Clinton with two wins. First time he's tried and two wins. Well done, son. So this is the U2's leaderboard. Red Trucks, Big Keg on 10. RC Rec, Lords Racing League on 9. Jake Demus on 8. The Dean's Thermy Kitchen, Essex Boys, Ratsack, Poe Boy, Chris Hood on seven, Numbskull and Kick Goodyear, and Brian's Diecast all on six. Well, well. Make sure you keep putting those submissions in. There are prizes for it. Yes. Well, that was crazy racing today. Yeah, that was um, something th pretty special. Something I don't think you'd ever have seen before on YouTube. I think we are going to get just races of just Spotto cars. <laughs> just, gonna, <laughs> just call them all Spotto, Spotto 1, Spotto 2, Spotto 3. They could, that could happen. 
So, um, yes, absolutely spectacular. We're getting closer and closer to the next round of the qualifying. Uh, sorry, the semi-finals, which is going to be absolutely fabulous if any indication is of, can, of the race that's coming up. Yes, I can hardly sleep and wait for it. Yeah, it's been absolutely fabulous. Well, my name's Larry. And my name's Harry. And you've been watching Bathurst, Bathurst Diecast Racing. Racing.